M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. This is the UVK5 stroke K6 and we're running the F4 HWN firmware version 3.7 and it's the latest version come November 2024 and yes it does have a band scope. I'm going to quickly show you that because many ask for that. So if you hold your finger down on the 5 that's your scan range 133 to 145 at the moment press F then 5 and you get your band scope okay and if you hold down exit you're back to normal hold it down twice and you're back to normal so to go to the A and the B band is nice and easy it says AB on button number two hold down A goes to the B section hold down A again or number two should I say goes to the A section and it says VFO memory here number three hold it down VFO and then hold it down and back to memory so hold again that's memory and yes it can display the frequency and the channel name hold it again and back to VFO and in VFO mode you can type the frequency so we go four uh, three four five five zero and we're there we are connected to my node so that's the frequency for my node let's go to menu number six if we go menu and then 06 type 06 we should go yes menu number six and the menu numbers are itemized here so we're menu number six of 68 menus there is a secret menu i believe you turn it off hold down the top p the ptt and the button above it you know this one the top two hold them down i know my hands in the way here of course turn on and you go into the sort of secret menu and now it goes up to 73 and in this menu you can uh you can tell it to transmit on more frequencies stay within your your rules but i've got no intention of doing that just that is the secret menu but i think it'll only do it on you know fm but anyway back to activating my my node so we go menu zero six uh 77 is already there but if we wanted to change that we would just go menu up and down choose 77 menu so in theory we should be able to open up my node which is in this room so let's just quickly have a look just press it once that's yep that's my node opening now let's see if we can dtmf by going star and then we're going to go star three four one five two two and then ptt there you go work great So, I, you know, I mean, if you haven't got a UVK5, K6, get five. That's my attitude because there's so many different firmwares you can try out. Here's one that I actually installed, the modified board myself. And it's actually on, a, at the moment, it's got a, a CB antenna on it, okay? Which is, I got from um, AliExpress. So it's quite long. It's extendable. Um, so if I just pull it right out, just quickly, trying to, oh my God, it's a bit too long. Sorry, I vanished. Um, and then hold down the zero. We're actually on 40 meters. Now, of course, it's a CB antenna. It's not going to do very well on 40 meters. But it's just an example of how you can play around. We're in AM there. So let's hold down the F. We should go to LSB. Now, the, the F4HWN, I believe, does not do you know this this at the moment unless there is a modification please correct me if i'm wrong quite often that i am wrong let's quickly go down and then we can go to the you know you can change bands etc but i thought i'd show you that but anyway that's not what this video is about the video is about the f4 hwn firmware so i'm just going to show you the basics really so you, you've seen how to use the scope if we just go menu and we're on menu 06 if we go to number one i'm going to go through these very fast because you know the best way is to get the radio add the firmware load it yourself make sure you watch my video in the description because that shows you how to back up the radio first before you load the firmware uh, which is straightforward and i use the all-in-one the eight all-in-one cable programming cable but you can use a both on cable it's not a problem twin pin connector on the side so yes the menu times out so we just quickly go through so you've got step power 
and it does get they've done the power so it'll go right down to milliwatts uh don't use that receive ctcss dcs i don't use transmit ctcss to open up your repeater the shift direction plus and minus the tx offset that you have to set the amount as well needed for a repeater wide and narrow band i'm just gonna then the different modes let's try it fm oh it has got usb i didn't know that well that's good i'm just going to select that a minute exit i actually didn't know it had usb um and so it says usb there let's hit the band button see if we go through bands 500 megs 1000 megs 100 megs 110 Two four five three fifty four three four. Now remember, anything under eighty megahertz, you need to modify it anyway. So let's just type in a frequency. A minute goes seven dot. Oh, it won't let me do that. Uh, one. Let's just exit seven one. That's well. I think we'll have to go two noughts. Then seven one. No, it doesn't do it. Look, 18 megs. Let's try 27 megs. I know a lot of people like that. So we'll go zero. And you think, well, why do people like 27 megs? Because there's a lot of CBers out there who want to listen to CB with their £10 radio. Why not? Who can blame them if they can get it for £10? Uh, 27,556 AM. Um, and then go to mode again. Mode FM. I'm not going to try and transmit on this. But there you are, 27556 FM. Let me grab my CB. CB, right, what channel we got? 27601. So let's try and type that. 027601. It's a little bit out, isn't it? Um, let me just key and see what happens a minute. Oh, oh yeah. I know it's off frequency, but watch. Breaker, breaker. It's definitely working. You can hear my little Roger beep. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Obviously, I'm too close. So, yes, you can listen to the CB on this. What the range is like, I don't know. Because don't forget, I'm inside the same room. Which also means, in upper sideband, we could probably listen to the ham, the ham portion as well. Let's just see if we can... Uh, oh, I press the DTMF then by accident. Hold that down. So, let's just go naught... To a, I can't actually remember the fight, the ham band uh, off the top. But look, 28500 menu mode, upper side band mode, exit. So look, 28500 and upper side band. So yeah, I would say you probably can listen to it. How good it sounds, no idea. So, and it's quickly go keep going through the menu. So menu going, looking at the menus there, number 12 of 73 because we've expanded it. TX lock. There is a whole scan section there, which you can read the manual. I'll put the descript description in for that. Yes, you can save channels. No problem. Just go to channel save menu 17. Once you put in the parameters, hit menu and it will save it to the channel that you choose. And if you go down one, you can actually name it. Just press name and start to name it. So there are scan lists. Again, learn that one. You can set the buttons, shortcut buttons there. Short press, long press, key lock, battery saver, battery tech, or oh, percentage or what else can we choose? Or voltage. I like percentage of battery left. Mic gain. Oh, didn't know that. Mic bar is on. You can choose name and frequency or just name or just frequency to display. Uh, oh, power on message. Let's do that. Let's do message. Oh, let's do all. And then we'll exit. And if we turn it off and then on, I mean, they are beautiful. Look at that. Looking good. Thank you, um, F4HWN. So keep going. Great work on this. I know that um, Fadgie's helped as well. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just very, very grateful to these people because they have provided me with so much fun. So we've got uh, the, sh the shortcut, the extended menu's gone now because we've rebooted, but not a problem. Timer's class. I think that's enough for now. What's the invert? Now, I've seen this before. 
Set invert on. Ah, I see. There you are. You can invert the screen. Uh, I think that's enough. Thanks for watching. Set timeout, PTT, power EN, and so on. So thanks for watching. Massive thanks to the developers. And um, yeah, get yourself a Kushang. I know there's Retivis and Reality, and they're all making, they're all doing these now. The same device in a different box. I've got the very, very original one here that you just saw that I did sold, fit the board in myself. The very original one um, uh, that was called Marui. And I was one of the, probably one of the first in the world to ever use one of these radios and make a video. Bye for now. Please hit the like, subscribe, 73.